Welcome to Five Star. My name is Greg. First things first, enjoy yourselves tonight. Have a good time. Take plenty of pictures and videos if you want. The only thing that we ask is that you please make sure your flash is off. It is a glass cockpit that you're flying in tonight, so if you take a picture with the flash on in this type of helicopter, you will end up with a picture of the inside of the helicopter, okay? So for the best pictures and videos tonight, make sure that flash is off. All right, everyone, we are going to hot load you and hot off load you, and this means we're going to walk you straight out to running helicopters. They are not shutting down. Blades are going to be spinning in the air, it's going to be moving, lights are going to be flashing. I get to warn you in advance, please hang on to anything. You don't want to blow off, fly up, or blow away. Hang on to your clothing, your eyelashes, and anything else you think you're going to lose. Hey, I'm serious now. I had one lady last night. <laughs> Just letting you know, okay? That being said, this is the model of helicopter everyone is flying on. There is two groups in here, that means there's two helicopters flying. The rail under the body right here is what you're going to step up onto to get in, and it is very narrow. It's approximately four inches wide, okay? It's very narrow. So please be careful and please take your time when you make that first step. Our ground crew is going to be right there shining a flashlight on there for you so you know where you're going to be stepping, and we'll also assist you if you need that to get up into the helicopters. Once you get inside and you're sitting down, the seat belt is basically the same design as the one in your vehicle. This is just for demonstration purposes. Yours will go across your chest and across your waist. And it's going to be located up by your shoulder, just like it is in your car or truck. Or, you know, if you don't have a car or truck, you don't have to worry about it. Anyways, uh, reach for your shoulder, pull it across your body, connect the two halves together at your waist. After that, you're going to have a pair of headsets directly above your head on a hook. Take these headsets, place them on your ears. You're going to have a boom microphone located on one side. Grab a hold of it, pull it straight down towards your mouth. And once you're set up like this, you can hear everybody and everybody can hear you. So please be careful what you say, how you say it, the words you use. And yes, it is a hot mic, okay? All right, after that, so I don't want no surprises, but just to let you know. All right, after that, we're going to step down from the helicopters, close up the doors for you, and you're simply going to start to float up into the air and head towards the Las Vegas Boulevard. You're going to go in the direction of the stratosphere. You should fly close enough to see what they're serving for happy hour. If it's still happy hour, pass those guys up. Go down to Fremont Street area. Do a very hard long left, bank around it, level out, start coming back in this direction. And everyone knows where the big green MGM Grand Casino is up here on the corner. As soon as you see that, get ready because you're going to do a hard left bank dive straight down between it, Tropicana Casino, go down Tropicana Boulevard, hang a hard right, come back and onto the airfield, and land right back here. I am not exaggerating. It's a very cool flight you're about to go on. I tell everybody, hit record, stick it in the window, and enjoy this out here. This is what you paid for, so please enjoy your flight. All right, everyone, once you land, your helicopters will not be shutting down. They are going to continue to run for the next two hours. So as our ground crews go out there to open up the doors for you, please, please, please pay attention where you're about to step out to. That rail that you stepped up on to get in, that is the only thing outside of the helicopter, and it is a little higher off of the ground than you think. So please be careful, please take your time, and please do not be in a rush. We're going to be right there with the uh, flashlights again, shining it on the rail for you so you know where to step. And we'll also have our hands extended out in case you need that help getting out of the helicopters. My favorite part. If you do not feel well in flight, maybe it was Pompas, Five Guys, in and out Shake Shack, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Panda Express, Roberto's, or White Castle. And yesterday, yesterday, believe it or not, was Popeye's. For those in the back seat, yeah, I don't know, it was Mardi Gras mustard, dirty rice, but anyways, those in the back seat, your souvenir bag will be directly in front of you in the seat back. And for those in the front two seats, it's going to be off to your right-hand ankle. Please use it. I keep score. So far tonight, zero. Yesterday, three. So if you need to use it, please use it, all right? All right, so there is a fire extinguisher located on the right side of the pilot seat. So if you get instructed to reach for the fire extinguisher, please lean forward. You will have enough slack in your seatbelt to reach for it, and it detaches easily from the floor. Please follow instructions after that. For anyone sitting in the back seats in three, four, five, and six, underneath one of your seats, because each helicopter is different where it's located, there is a first aid kit directly underneath your seat. So if anybody needs a band-aid, cotton ball, or something like that, simply reach underneath your seat one to two inches, give it a quick pull, you'll have it in your hands. Last thing, we will handle all door operations. So please do not mess with the doors in flight, on the ground before takeoff, or upon landing. We will take care of all of that for you. All right, so last thing, one policy, one policy only. 
on the doors before you walk through them to go outside, it says that there are no pictures or videos allowed out on the ramp. That is a security policy set by the airport, not us. So what we ask is, while you're out on the ground, please keep your arms down, phones down, cameras down. Once you get into the helicopters, all the pictures and videos you want to do, that's not a problem. Um, we're going to try and flashlights at you. We're going to be vocal about you. Put your phones down, stop taking pictures, etc. We're just doing our job. Please do not get angry with us, okay? We don't know if the airport's watching us. So uh, there is two groups in here. When I start calling out your names, they're going to line up the first group here, second group on that side. Does anyone have any questions? Perfect. Let's do this. First person right here is going to be Tara. Come on up. You were seat one. Skylar, you were right behind her seat two. Francine, seat three. Denise, seat four. Patricia, seat five. Tim, seat six. On this side, Rachel or Raquel? Rachel, come on down. You were seat one. McKenna, seat two. Is that right? Yeah. All right. McKenna, seat two. Greg, awesome name. Come on up. Seat three. Melanie, seat four. Mike, seat five. And Renee, seat six. All right. So I'm the last person. Up. 